So we are in Bangkok so that we can go and get Apollo's passport. And when we were coming to Bangkok, we were so excited because we really wanted to be able to get out in the city and show you the best of Bangkok food. It's a video we've been wanting to make for a really long time. But because of the whole COVID situation, we actually really can't leave. So we figured we could bring all of the best of Bangkok's food right here to our hotel. So today we'll be reviewing the best of Bangkok food as delivered by Food Panda and Grab Eats. Our names are Annette and Daniel, and this is our baby Apollo. We spent the last three years traveling the world and chasing some crazy adventures as a couple. Now, after having a surprise baby in Thailand, our adventures are about to get a little more interesting. Subscribe and join us as we navigate life as a full-time traveling family together. So as a part of coming to Bangkok, especially with it being the Embassy Center, we've already said we're not leaving the room. And so this, um, how do you say that? Self-lockdown, <laughs> self-isolation food review? Begin. And cute baby snuggles. <laughs> oh, I caught that on camera. Oh my God. <laughs> how are you guys enjoying your city experience so far? Uh, it is very cool considering that we can see the whole city from our bedroom and don't actually have to go outside. And I've got the whole world on my chest right now. Mm. So I don't need anything in the whole world holding my camera. All right, to the food. So we went a little pricey with today's meal. Don't judge us. Everyone who we've spoken to has said we have to try these artisan burgers. And so we were like, you know what? We'll have our one first meal. Let it be ridiculous. And it was. It was like 800 baht. What? Yeah. It was like 800 baht for two burgers and one thing of fries. So again, this is at the highest point in the budget. We will definitely be going lower with the budget. Yeah, we are having pad thai and water tonight. <laughs> That's exactly it. But let's see how good it is. Oh yeah. Look at that. We usually eat vegan, but not now. All of our friends have told us to try Artisan Burger and said that it was their favorite burger in all of Bangkok. Now, what? I've already snuck a french fry in here. <laughs> Did you? And delivery french fries are already a hot mess. You know what I'm talking about. Is Ooh. this not the crunchiest, like mouth-watering french fry? Wow, I'm so sad I didn't get any. Dude, and delivery too. Like yeah, I wanna that was go. fast. The delivery was really good. Sorry, I need to stop eating all these fries. <laughs> Be careful, it's dripping. <laughs> and it's on your leg. You Baby. I told her that she couldn't eat this on the bed and she was like, no, I'll be fine. You're talking too loud. I'm talking too loud. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. I don't want to take a bite right now because I'm going to try mine. Wow. I knew the next step was shoving it in my mouth. My God, that is smoky. I think there's caramelized onions, bacon. Oh, look at that cheese. I'm just going to... It's dripping all over the bed, but that's fine. Look at that. No. We have got some double patty deliciousness with lots of bacon, some cheese, what I think is some caramel oh my God. caramelized onions. Spectacular, eh? Yeah, that's delicious. And I still can't believe that we can eat this looking at this. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do a Daniel phone cam. Ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> All right, well, um, this is delicious. I guess we're going to smash this. It was incredible. Yeah. It was so worth the hype. I'm not sure what we're ordering next, but I guess Food Panda or Grab Eats will uh, let us know. Yeah. All right. See you then. Boop. All right. So meal two is actually from our favorite pizza spot in Bangkok. We're just trying all the favorites today. Yeah. Because that burger was definitely an instant favorite. The best burger I've ever had, I think. But this is the best pizza, like New York slice I've had in Thailand. Sorry for whispering on oh, yeah, the There's a sleeping baby in the back. He took forever to go down, so we're gonna keep it a little quieter. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and also, in case you're wondering what happened with the gap of time, this... Nothing. <laughs> I was gonna get the original pizza because it is my favorite, but I figured, why not? So the what? price point for Soho Pizza is stupid expensive if you get it on Food Panda or Grab, mm. but if you go to their website, they're always they seem to always be running a two for five hundred baht. So we got two so pizzas for two for five hundred baht, fifteen dollars. Yeah, yeah, fifteen bucks. And I got a meat lovers. Uh, oh yeah, so good. Oh yeah, 
which can we just talk about that that's like the expensive price point two for 500 baht like i can't get one for 15 dollars in america yeah. unless you go to gummies size my face. what size of my face bigger yeah, this face. is way bigger than the size of my I face i was so worried that was about to come off <laughs> can you imagine the pizza crust is perfect though they char it just a little on the bottom and then it has just a super thin layer of like i don't want to say goo goo but dough like dough. It's I like, have to try it. I haven't had a, oh, it's a, been a while. yet. Oh, and listen to that. Wait for it. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh. so good. As a matter of fact, I'm just gonna make you hate me at home. But look at that. That was anticlimactic. We need to find another piece. <laughs> We're gonna do this again. Actually, none of these are doing what I wanted to do. Look at this. <laughs> Anyways, the pizza's delicious. The dough, I think, is like just such a good consistency and then wait for it the crust mm. oh yeah well great all right so uh, meal number two in self-isolation quarantine in bangkok while we uh wait for a polish passport yeah completo yeah. cheers <laughs> <laughs> to uh tomorrow morning's breakfast yay Ah, so the cab, Kapuma Krab, Chogdi Krab. Hi. Hello. Talking to my friend Daniel. Another Daniel. I All of the best things in my life start with Daniel. Ah, <laughs> uh, and we've got food now, I guess, which is great. So now it is time for breakfast, day of embassy. So we really need to be fueled with some coffee and some real comfort food. So we have ordered yeah. from BKK Bagels. Online, people said that they really liked it, that it was. Trying not to wake the little gremlin. Or break the glass or your or skull break. or yeah, it's fine. any of the other things. I'm okay. <laughs> anyway, people said that it was some of the best New York style uh, bagels. Yeah. We've been really New York we eating have, today. Unintentionally, out of living here over the last year plus, you hear about all of the best food places. Right. And all the best food places are in Bangkok. Right, and which so, is true. Yeah, by the way. so we were planning on jumping around town, but then when COVID came back, we're like, Hotel it is. Yeah. Food paid up and crap eats. Which, so, to oh. be fair, like you, if you're coming to Bangkok or and you have ASQ, I mean, I don't know if they do Food Panda for ASQ, but you can order anything. Everything delivers here. Mm -hmm. And another thing too, you guys may have noticed that this is not a Thai food review in Bangkok. No. But because I reckon like you can get good Thai food anywhere in Thailand, but you can only get good expat food in Chiang Mai or Bangkok. Yeah. And Bangkok has way more variety than even Chiang Mai does. So. Hands down. And we've lived in both places for extended periods of time. And you know what? We lived in Thailand for a year, eating Thai food for a year and a half. I'm going to have a burger. Okay. <laughs> That's exactly it. Okay. So today's food is from BKK. Well, this morning's food is from BKK Bagels. Um, oh. The total bill for two bagels, uh, one with sun-dried tomatoes, one with blueberry cream cheese, and two Americano coffees comes out to 319 baht, which is around $10. Right. Now, I have a question for you. For those of you who have been following along the channel for the last three years, uh, which bagel do you think is Daniel's, Ooh. and which bagel do you think is Annette's? The first one is an onion bagel with sun-dried tomatoes. That's one breakfast. And then the other one is an everything bagel with blueberry sweet cream cheese. All right, so we're gonna take a second. Comment down below. Who do you think ordered this bagel and who do you think okay. ordered this bagel? Well, anyways, while you're commenting down below, because you can do that while the video's playing, time to dig We're in. gonna start opening them. We're gonna start opening them. Oh. Okay. But it's still warm. Oh my God, this must've been hot. Damn. We were talking oh. to one of our really good friends. Actually, you met a really good friend, yeah. Daniel. Okay, this is proper Dallas. cream cheese with like blueberry compote on top. Oh, okay, wait a second. So do you need a spoon to mix it around? I think I do. Okay. Oh, and those look like fresh blueberries too. Those do. I screwed this pooch so hard. Oh my god, <laughs> yes. What'd you get? So I. It was me. I ordered the sun-dried tomato thing, but just like Daniel's, it looks like oh, I thought because like with cream cheese. Well, it came with cream cheese and sun-dried tomatoes, but I was thinking that it was gonna be a sun-dried tomato cream cheese, kind of like when you go to New York and they have like these big vats of all the different flavored cream cheeses that are pre-mixed. But it looks like they just have like a plain cream cheese and then they put a topping and then don't mix it. 
here. And um, for the sake of being fancy and- They're sealed. Yeah. For the sake of being fancy and not getting charged for getting blue all over the comforter. Sound. We're gonna use a Paulo's PP pad. Yeah. We should also maybe get the spoon from the coffee. Yeah, okay, we're gonna sort some things out, come right back. Yeah. So. Sun-dried tomato cream cheese. Pause. Cheers. All right. Oh, that was work. Wow, this Whoa. bagel's really good though. This cream cheese this is really cream good. Cream cheese is incredible. Whoa. So the bagel's great. The bagel is a little doughier than usual, um, but it's still like light and airy, and you get a good you get a good crunch from the side that they toasted. And man, that cream cheese, it's like, it doesn't taste like store-bought. It tastes like they made it in-house. Yeah, the I cream cheese how. is spectacular. It's super creamy. And then the sun-dried tomatoes crunching on the inside. Mm -hmm. mm. It is dang good. I really like my onion bagel. I'm not a big fan of everything bagels. I think that there's like too many seeds on it and I can't taste no. like the cream cheese as well. No. The onion bagel is one of the best onion bagels I have had. I will say it is a little bit doughy. It could be the fact, like chewy in a sense. I think it could also be the fact that obviously it had to be delivered to us. If you have it there, it'll probably be like fresh, crispy, delicious. But we had a delivery and so it had like the toasting process and then a steaming process for about 30 <laughs> minutes before it made it to us. I think all of the bagels were 45 baht, 60 baht, $2. Yeah, the bagel was 45 baht and the cream cheese was 45 baht. Amazing, so 45 baht for so my bucks. folks. Three bucks. Yeah, so for a bagel and cream cheese, it was $3. But this is a pretty good like size bagel. I mean, this is very America sized yeah. bagels. Yeah, <laughs> there's definitely a concern here. You're like, am I gonna get Thai sizes? Right, cheers. Here, let me help you. I wanted to help. No, I know what that face was going for and you were gonna <laughs> take a bite of my thing and I'm gonna eat you. Cheers. cheers. Love you. I have so much trouble. Ooh, that's some good cream cheese. Wow. wow. <laughs> we should have at the same time. That cream cheese, man. Ooh. It's so creamy. As stupid as that sounds. <laughs> it's creamy. It's got like chunks of like proper blueberry. Like they don't taste frozen. They may be. And this could just be my unexperienced palate. <laughs> it's really good. It's very sweet. It's sweeter than I expected. Yeah, hands down. But I expected it to be a little bit more cream cheesy, but you know what? I kind of like that. But if you do have the budget, my recommendation and the space in your stomach, especially if you're eating with another person, get a savory, yeah. yeah, get a savory one and then get a sweet one. I feel I like so. had I gotten this alone, I would have felt like something was missing from my breakfast. Really? Oh, I wouldn't have. But really? I, I also have a sweet tooth. Yeah. Anyway, I'm not as well, a sweet person. I mean, I'm a sweet person. You I'm are just a sweet not. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Anyways, here's the breakfast. Cheers to that. Woo. We had some great bagels from BKK Bagels, and right. now it's time for lunch. Right. Actually, I think that we are going to, so I don't know if we're going to vlog this, so if there's like a big interlude, here's why. We actually have some friends that lived in Krabi with us, and she was pregnant while I was pregnant, and that's very rare. You do not see pregnant people in Thailand. And she actually just recently had a baby, so we are going to be having a fully like socially distanced, like we're going to the pool area of her apartment that's been closed down and like sitting on opposite sides, but she has someone who helps her at her home. So I think they're gonna make us like a pasta salad oh, yeah. and then like serve us food apart. So we might be eating lunch with some friends, but for dinner, we'll see you. See you at, at dinner. dinner. Apollo, are you ready to become a US citizen? Are you ready to become a US citizen? Yes, mom, I'm ready. I'm ready, Mom. Let's go to the embassy. So, good morning. Um, the, we were supposed to meet you at dinner, but this little man over here was just so dang fussy and so difficult for like five hours that by the time we got him to sleep, for the sixth time, was it, Annette? Yeah. It was something like the sixth time we had gotten him to sleep and he only took like 10 minute naps. Um, it was pitch black in the room and we were like, Hence why we ended up getting a place called Lazy Panda and not showing you. So we were trying to hit again like all this crazy like good international food. And so we got what Annette and I call Chinese food. It doesn't mean that it's actually crappy. It just means that like it's not it's, it's not real Chinese food because we know what real Chinese food is. 
Um, but we got a place called Lazy Panda. It cost us about 450 baht for a full thing of orange chicken, lo mein, an appetizer of crab rangoons, crab rangoons, crab rangoons, and uh, an egg drop soup with a Coca-Cola. It was like a box deal that they were doing and it was like so worth it. Annette and I both ate off this and look how much is left in the morning. The orange chicken is fantastic. It is lightly breaded with like really savory orange sauce that's kind of goopy and I love it. Mmm. Oh yeah, look at that. It's even good cold the next morning. And that said, this was life changing. So, oh, and that's gonna join us whenever. She's wrapping up the room. We kind of woke up a little late this morning and we don't wanna miss our flight. That is still crunchy. Oh my God. Right? How is it still crunchy? Sinful. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Y'all, if you're oh looking my God. for the best crab rangoons in the world, in my opinion, the crunchiest even. I don't know how they preserve the crunch. How do they do that? I don't understand. Bangkok has delivery food figured out. Yeah, I don't yeah. get it. Thank you guys so much for joining us on this like self-quarantine, stuck in Bangkok to get his passport food review, uh, where we don't really leave the room. Make sure that you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, follow the rest of our adventures around the world. Right now they're in Thailand, but- Very soon. He's gonna have a passport, so you never know what's gonna happen. It can be anywhere else. Exactly. Anyways, we'll see you on the next adventure. Bye.